gonna eat some breakfast. I've got fruit. I am really craving the bagel. Uh, I was thinking of eating some cereal. I really wanted these. I don't know if you guys have had these. They are mini wheats, but I'm all out of that. So for now I'm gonna eat fruits and my bagel and then see if I'm still hungry. Hey guys, so today I thought it would be a really perfect day to do my everyday foundation makeup routine. I get asked to do this pretty often so I thought it would be the perfect timing to do it. Now I do want to say I'm not a makeup guru or beauty artist, makeup artist, none of that. This is just what works for me and what I like to do. I hope that it's helpful. As you can see I have pretty pale skin um, and then I have like dark under eye circles. Yeah, that's mainly it. I don't really have any acne or anything like that because ever since I got pregnant I haven't really had any skin issues which has been lovely but beforehand I had uh, like combination skin like I would break out like on my forehead uh, and then I would have like dry patches but as of lately it's been pretty awesome and my skin has pretty much been normal for the most part. The very first thing I like to do is my foundation. This is my all-time favorite. This is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable uh, Makeup and I'm in W5. I love this stuff. If you're looking for a great drugstore foundation, I would highly recommend this one. It is really good. I really enjoy it and you know it's affordable. It's not as expensive as if you were to go to MAC or you know any of those fancy counters so I like that. Lately I've been using this one which is the Fit Me Foundation by Maybelline and this is in 220 natural beige. I will use a beauty blender this is literally how I will apply my makeup. I feel like it applies it the most flawless and I will put this all over I will use this side to kind of like pat it on. I don't really know how much of it I use. I just kind of like look and see like if I need to cover any redness and stuff like that. So this is pretty much for like um, pretty normal skin. So I'm going to keep doing that all over the face until I get the desired amount and coverage. I tend to put a little bit extra around the nose area because that area tends to be pretty red. We'll put some on the eyeballs. Then I'm going to go in with my concealer. This is the Maybelline Super Stay Better Skin Concealer in the color light. And I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes. This I feel like brightens it up a lot. I'll leave it there for a little bit, not too long because then it kind of like wants to stick. So while that's on there, I'm going to do my eyebrows. What I do for my eyebrows is I use this and it's kind of like an eyeshadow. I use the darkest one and then I use a little angled brush and then I'll go ahead and just go with what my eyebrows are like, like the shape of them. So I'll just follow that natural line and I'll just fill it in. Let's 
go back to that concealer and I'll just use my beauty blender to blend this in as well. I will use a little powder brush and I will use my Studio Mac Fix powder in NC35. And I will just apply that everywhere. crazy how a little bit of makeup can make you look alive. For my blush and highlight and bronzer, I'm going to be using this glow palette that I purchased from Burlington Coat Factory. I'm going to be using a little angled brush. My brushes are from eBay and I absolutely love them. I've had them for so long. So I'm going to contour a little bit. Adding a little bit of blush from that same palette. With the same brush, I'll use the highlight. I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Mineral eyeshadow primer that I got from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm going to apply using a little like blending brush like this. This is from Target. I'm going to go in with it, that same contour we used. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in the crease. go with the blush newts. I think I want to use this color today. Going to curl my eyelashes, add some mascara. These actually work pretty well from Dollar Tree. My favorite mascara is the Jordana Best Lash Extreme Volumizing Mascara. You can get this at Walgreens or Kmart. So yeah, this is basically what I do for my everyday makeup. I hope that you enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. I had some hot cocoa. I finished the entire box, so I had to go get more. 
and I also got all of these marshmallows. I know I went a little bit crazy, but I couldn't help myself. So I picked up four boxes of the hot cocoa. It does come with little marshmallows, but I always add more. Um, I got some caramel syrup, some whipped cream, some gingerbread marshmallows. They're so adorable. I got some snowman marshmallows. They look like that. And then these ones are little and they're peppermint. Since we are going to uh, be running some errands today, I'm going to use these from the Dollar Tree. Hey guys, so I just went to my P.O. box and thought I'd show you some of the things that I got. I got a couple letters from you guys. Very holiday-ish, so thank you so much. I want to begin by saying thank you to everyone who sent me letters and uh, little packages. I truly appreciate you. You guys already know that. First one from Dina and look at her little gingerbread house so cute right now I am going to go to Kmart to see if I can find some sweatpants for the hospital stuff that I need to take look at how beautiful this card is it says let it snow and it's got snowflakes and a little snowman thank you so much Dina I'm so glad you enjoy the videos People like you are the reason why my videos are made. Thank you so much for your card. Next one is from the Sarton family. Is that how you say it? And let me just show you how beautiful this little envelope is. I love it. It's all like peanut stuff. Hope your holidays are filled with peace and joy and a happy surprise or two. Aww, thank you so much. You guys are seriously amazing. And your cards make me very happy. The next card is from Amy and Tammy. And they sent a little card. Oops. With a little reindeer. And it's got a little bird and some Christmas trees. Wishing you a wonderful holiday season. Went to my P.O. box and they didn't have these, this mail in my P.O. box. And I was pretty confused about that. I was just like, this stuff, this stuff fits in my P.O. box. Like, why is it not inside my P.O. box? They had it uh, in a different location and it just threw me off. I'm just like... These letters fit in my P.O. box, so they should be in there, right? The next letter is from the Parker family. I believe this is Teresa. Mimi Parker. She sends a holiday card. Yep, Mimi Parker. I just recognized her. She's been very loyal. Very loyal. YouTube friend. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. And then the next two are little packages. So we'll start off with this one. And it has Hello Kitty tape. And it's from Sadie. And I believe she sent stuff before. This is from Canada. Got my handy dandy scissors. she sent some baby stuff so this says love 
cannot believe she's going to be here in no time, guys. Ugh, I feel like the anticipation like kills me. Oh, here's a card. <laughs> and it says Laura, Cisco, Taco, and Leilani. Even Taco is included in this. If you don't know who Taco is, he's my French Bulldog. Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, Sadie. I really appreciate it. I hope you have a Merry Christmas. I hope you're spending lots of time with the people you love. She also sent these little socks and uh, mittens with the little monkey. And she sent these. These come in really handy for the baby. Thank you so much. That was super thoughtful. Next little package here. It's got some holiday washi tape. And this is from Jessica. You guys seriously are amazing. Found a card. It's got a little gingerbread man, Santa Claus, and some gifts. On the back it's got a little snowflake. Then she sent me this card. Thank you so much, Jessica. She sent a couple goodies. And she wrapped everything. This says these are too cute. They're these little socks. Look how adorable they are. Then she sends some baby bibs. This one says cutie patootie. And this one says time to eat. Love that. Thank you so much. Next for your little one's scrapbook. And I do have, my mom actually bought me a scrapbook. And I'm excited to start scrapbooking. I know it's going to get a little bit more challenging when baby's here. And I'm still going to try. This is so adorable. This one's the little feet and hands. And then she also sent this, time to play. I think this might be like her first rattle. For real, I, I really think this is her first rattle. And then the last, I know you love Christmas. Oh my god, these are so darling. I love Christmas. I sure do. These are little nutcracker stickers. Alrighty guys, I'm going to use my camera now because my phone has no memory space. I was just showing you the stickers. I think I showed you the nutcrackers already. Uh, so these are the little nutcrackers. How cute are they? And then these are the other ones that she sent me. They've got Christmas trees, reindeer, and little gifts, and then these that say Merry Christmas. Super precious. Thank you so much to everyone who sent me letters and these little packages. I really appreciate you. I like these PJs onesie. These are cute too.
I wanted to show you the slippers they have. They're buy one, get one for a dollar. And they're $16.99. They also have this color, but not in my size. And I have the sweatpants, just black. robe For two ninety nine. They're a dollar at Dollar Tree. They have a bunch of cute things at Kmart. Look at these, they're so pretty. 